Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. We're here with Matthew Horde from Health Source Saginaw this morning. Good morning, Matthew. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. You're welcome. Okay, so we are talking about something that is very applicable to this time of the year. So we're talking about the holidays, how it's a great time to get along with friends and family for any kind of event you have to kind of close the end of the year. But it's also winter and it's winter in Michigan. And we deal with a lot of things every year this time of the year. So we have snow and ice issues, of course, <laughs> in Michigan. So when it comes to kind of handling the winter, the snow and the ice, let's talk about footwear because sometimes we want to look cute, but we probably should be a little more practical when it comes to what shoes we're wearing. Tell that's, us a little bit about that. That's what I was going to say. Dress shoes are some of the slippiest, the most slippery shoes that we can wear, mm -hmm. even on dry ground or yeah. um, in the summer. Yeah. Um, however, the, there's been a lot of new boot styles come out, and a lot of our uh, patients or my family members wear them, and they look very nice. Mm -hmm. But what we're suggesting is that you wear the boots um, outside, bring a change of shoes if you have to be um, dress up or um, in a casual situation. Okay, so it's better and probably a little safer to have just a couple of pairs of shoes on you. Correct. Even if it's a little <laughs> nuisance. Okay, so how can people prepare to keep safe walkways during these winter months? Yep, um, the, the snow seems to accumulate, it, um, the slush, and then even if you um, get the sidewalk cleared, mm -hmm. If the I, or if the salt melts the snow, it'll be a little wet and then it could refreeze. So we have to make sure that we're constantly maintaining it or having somebody maintain it for you. Mm -hmm. um, your driveway, sidewalk, if you're unable to get out of the house yourself. Mm -hmm. So something to keep in mind because even if we can't see it, there might be ice there. Correct. Okay, so what can people do to support the challenges involved in outdoor mobility? during the winter months? A lot of our, we deal with people with mobility problems mm -hmm. and a lot of them require assistive devices uh, to get around. There, it's, a lot of times they can get around the house without the device because mm -hmm. they're using furniture, yeah. uh, uh, counters to walk. But please take your assistive device, whether it's a cane, a walker with you, especially outside. Take your time, we're recommending that you look out for this stuff and be always aware that it could be slippery. Yeah, and we always say take a couple extra minutes before you head out the door, which is also good for anyone with mobility uh, in the winter months. So what can people do to prevent slips and falls during the winter? The holiday season seem to be a time of rush. You're going from place to place. Please take your time, uh, short, uh, shorter steps, um, making sure your feet are underneath of you, um, mm -hmm. no quick turns, um, avoiding crowded areas because you don't want to get bumped into by somebody, uh, especially running in to get that last minute gift. Yeah. Um, so being aware of your environment, taking short steps, and um, having your device there if needed. Okay, great tips. I have one last question. What should people do if an accident occurs? Um, they, they usually say have a safety kit inside, yeah. your, or inside your car, take it with you. Mm -hmm. um, please have a coat or jacket, even if you think you're just running into the store and back out. Yeah. Because if something happens on the way and you're in a ditch somewhere and you cannot turn your car on, you're going to need the jacket. They always say blankets, um, cell phones are great and mm -hmm. most people have them. However, make sure you have the warm clothes um, and the boots come in handy there too because you may have to uh, step through uh, some deep snow. Okay, so some great practical tips, things that we may know, but it's a good reminder to have those in mind. Okay, thank you so much, Matthew, for answering all of our questions. And if you missed anything or if you want any more information, we'll have all of this on the hot link section on our website. That's at WNEM.com.